born in 1953 in Birmingham, Alabama. I was raised in the Deep South, and things were very different in the Deep South in 1953. Uh, and eventually I migrated to Texas uh, with my father and mother here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, attended elementary school here in Fort Worth, Texas. My parents divorced when I was in uh, grade school and my mom got custody, which was the way it always was in those days, and she returned to Alabama where I was uh, spent more time being raised there in Alabama. When I was a senior in high school, I came to live here with my father. I have a fraternal twin brother. Uh, uh, we're not identical, uh, born at this, more or less the same time. I'm two minutes older than him. And we returned to, to live here with our father. I was a senior in high school at that point. My dad had remarried. Uh, his wife had a son, uh, two years older than us. Uh, and my dad died when I was a senior in high school. He had a series of strokes, died after the third stroke. And uh, my stepmother uh, promptly started charging us rent and really encouraged us to move. And we really didn't have a place to live. My dad had left me $2,000 to go to college on. There was a trustee of the bank that was in charge of it. And uh, me and my brother shared a 1965 Volkswagen, which he had bought new. 65 Volkswagen cost $1,595. I remember still having the window sticker for the car. My brother and I kind of started going to college a little bit, but not really. Uh, of course, I had to work, and he had to work, and we shared an apartment. I think even at an early age, I was destined to be perhaps more ambitious than some, or an overachiever. I remember when we came from Alabama to Texas to be with my dad when I was a senior in high school. We, we came into Love Field, and we left Love Field to come to Fort Worth. And we didn't have Dallas-Fort Worth International then. Just Love Field was all we had. And as we came past, came down Mockingbird, which was the road that led to the airport, as I recall, I remember passing a company there called Taylor Publishing. And I can't believe I remember it to this day. But I said, someday I'm going to own that company. I had no idea what they did or how big the company was or anything else. And of course, I didn't ever own Taylor Publishing. But I'm confident that the companies I own are, have been much bigger than Taylor Publishing. And so even at that early age, I think I was thinking about perhaps being a little entrepreneur. In 1978, I got married, and I got an instant family, three boys. They ranged in age from about four to about eight at that point. We stayed married for 28 years. And all three boys, when they were 12 years old, were going to the salvage yard and sweeping. They all owned cars when they were 12 years old, and they loved, on Saturdays after they got off work, driving their cars around in the salvage yard. Of course, they were wrecked cars that they'd had to fix up. By the time they were in high school, they owned their own cars and had money, and uh, I helped them open the auto salvage yards in high school. All of them are still involved in the auto salvage business and have done real well.